what is going on you guys welcome to today's video as you guys have seen the past week has been pretty busy to say the least all the work on the savoy and then yet pulling another vr6 for the wagon back over there but today we're turning our attention to little old molly right here so as you can see we have a ton of things laid out here we have the ats wheels with the fresh tires we have a package here which is hub rings for these wheels we have the nice larger gti calipers here we have a box full of goodies which is pads rotors and all the rebuild kit to make these calipers brand new so let's go ahead and grab our trusty unboxing knife as always and see what kind of goodies we got up in here she's a hefty box like i said we have pads rotors and a rebuild kit for the calipers they get them all freshened up and basically brand new which is going to be awesome let's go this way yeah. all right let's see what kind of awesome stuff we got up in here all of the packing material Good grief. All right, so here are our new slide pins for the calipers. So they are made by Stark Automotive, but there they are with the little rubber bushings or the rubber seals. These here are the seals for the inside um, of the actual piston itself and then the cover for there. So there's one for each one. And then these are the actual pistons that will push out. So brand new piston. Look at that, nice and shiny. So those are very, very nice. Two of those, and then we have our Brembo brake pads for the front. And then last but not least, our nice, oh my goodness, there they are. Our nice large 280 millimeter brake rotors here. And these ones look pretty awesome and hopefully perform just as well. Look at that those look beautiful so these are two 80 millimeter four by 100 uh slotted brembos and they look awesome so there's that and of course the other one some new set screws but these things look amazing i cannot wait to have these plus the new brake calipers this thing's gonna stop like a beast all right so we've got this little table set up here i got a light here and a light here so hopefully it's very very bright you guys can see everything i'm gonna try my best to walk you through the process of doing this because i've never actually rebuilt calipers myself but with the power of youtube i watched some videos and hopefully i can explain it in a good enough process so you guys if you guys want to do this you can do it as well so again we have our calipers here fully disassembled all of our slide pins are out our piston and our seals out everything is off of these ones and then we'll have new slide pins to hold the carrier to the caliper or we have the uh the new pistons here that are actually going to push your brake pads and then obviously have our new seals and our little uh little covers here so let me show you the old stuff real quick so you can see what we're going from so these came off of a 2.0 uh gti but five lug that came stock with the 280 millimeter rotors which is bigger than my car my car has a 256 so this would be a very very nice upgrade for my car so you can see here these are the pistons that came out of it. So the pistons actually weren't that bad. A um, little bit of rust here, but not the biggest deal. But this, these parts were also cheap. You might as well just rebuild them and get a brand new caliper. These are the pads here. Still plenty of life, but again, might as well do brand, brand new ones. We have the, what's in here? Oh, this is the OG seals. The bleeder screw, which I'm going to need that later on. The seals that went inside. What's that? All the seals actually looked pretty good condition. And then our slide pins here. And I'm gonna need this screw, I believe. I don't know if these ones came with new screws. They did not. So we're gonna be using our factory screws. I can get that out of there. Our factory screws to hold the slide pins in. And I'll probably need these as well to hold our pads. Make sure if you disassemble calipers, you keep everything just in case. So we'll get these out of here real quick. We'll need to reuse those to hold the slides in. So there's all of that. And then I'll show you guys. So this is the obviously the new rotor here. This one over here is the factory one, which is the 280 millimeter 5x100. And you guys can see these are my lines, which we'll be using again. You can see the difference here on the top. See how thin this is right here? And you see how much bigger this one is right there. So that's the re reason why this one wouldn't fit properly, but with this, with this higher top hat here, these should fit no problem as an OEM upgrade to your smaller 256 uh, rotors. Also learned that the VR6 we got yesterday, these rotors are also 280, same size. So a little bit thicker, but still 
280. So once we'll do that, we'll have nice 280 millimeters on the wagon as well. But let's go ahead and get started with this rebuild. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, even though these have already been disassembled and fully painted, I haven't gone through and sanded. Look inside there. There's still a little bit of a, not like rust, but a little bit of corrosion on the inside of there. So get you some sandpaper. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna sand all that smooth, make sure it's nice and clean before we start putting um, the new piston and seals inside there. Hopefully you guys can see see that there. So I'm gonna go through and sand all of this real quick so it's nice and clean, and then we'll go ahead and get the uh, the seal in, and then we're gonna get in the piston and the boot in there. All right, we've got our first one here done. Hopefully you can see that. How you've got all of the, um, the little corrosion spots off, and now it's nice and clean. And then I'll let you see this one that I haven't done yet. You can see the difference between the inside of this one, which honestly, these weren't bad at all, but still you wanna clean it up while it's there. So you can see that one, and then again, compared to uh, this one now. So I'm gonna do this one real fast, sand the inside, and then we'll go through with some um, some grease and our new seals, and get the seal in, and then press our piston in with the, um, the boot, and then continue on from there. So both of these are now done and ready to be assembled. And I was about to start putting the seal in, I realized that neither one of these, um, these packages here came with any uh, assembly grease and I thought I had some but I do not so I don't want to put the seal in and the piston with no assembly grease at all so I'm gonna go through real fast grab some assembly grease and we'll come back and continue with this so I was able to get some brake cleaner and some brake fluid here but unfortunately they didn't have any caliper grease at the BX every other store is closed right now so I'm trying to ask around and see if anyone has any I think Andy has some so if Andy says he does I'm gonna head over to shop real fast grab that from him and get some today if not I'll have to wait until tomorrow when everything opens back up all right, so to my excitement, Andy actually has some caliper grease. He said I can borrow it, and he set it out for me. So we're going to hop in the Audubon, fly over there as fast as possible, grab it, get home, and hopefully get all this stuff done today. There it is. There is my favorite sign right there. Look at that. So we'll go. Uh... Here has been acquired. I'll tell you what, when you can do 140 miles an hour, it makes a, a trip go by a lot faster. Now we're gonna head home and get these brakes done. All right, now that we have this, let's go ahead and get these things put together. All right, let's get into putting these calipers back together now. So we'll open up our first rebuild package here. And we're gonna get out our, this one here is our seal. It goes on the front side right here to keep dirt and stuff from going inside of your piston area. And then this one is the one that sits down, you can see that, down this little groove right there and keeps the, uh, I would assume, the fluid from coming out. So what we're gonna do now, get a little bit of this Plasti Lube. I can't read any of the German on here, but you can see how it shows the brake caliper. And you wanna use this kind of stuff or any other brake caliper um, lube because this stuff is gonna withstand the heat that your caliper is going to see. So put a little bit of this, put a little tiny bit in there, just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. Put a little tiny bit on here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that on just a little bit, not crazy. I'll go through. Make sure it's nicely coated all the way around. All right, so with that, like so, we'll go ahead and set this inside of here. Just push it down and then hopefully get it to sit flat in that groove. Oh, 
there. All right, so it's there. You want to make sure you push it all the way around. You don't want to have any of it sticking out, get caught. But it looks like we got the entire thing in there. I don't see any little spots sticking out. So that looks good. So now that our seal's there, the next thing we're going to do is put our piston here in. You want to do the same thing, put a little bit of assembly or the copper grease here on the piston itself. In the video I watched, the guy actually went ahead and put um, the seal part of the way on, on the back side, I want to say, right below the groove here. That way it makes it a little bit easier to get the seal to go in properly and seat on in there. All right, so we're going to put more of our grease here all over this piston. Get it all rubbed in nicely. I'm not sure exactly if there's like a too much you can use, but from the video I watched, he had about this amount. So we'll go with that because his brakes worked afterwards. So that's what we want. So now that that is greased up, he went ahead and put his seal here on before it put it in there. So it looks like if you see inside there, that little ring right there, that should sit inside this groove here. So I'm going to go ahead and go from, I guess the, I guess we're the top down. Kind of spin it around if I can. There. So it looks like that should be it. You can see that it's seated right. These gloves are kind of hard to do with this. You can see it's seated right inside there. So I believe that is done correctly. So now I'm going to put a little bit more grease in here since I touched some of it. Just kind of grease it all up nicely. And then we'll go ahead and slide this into there. All right, so let's take this now. And we should be able to just set it there. And slide her on in. Let's see if we can get to do it on there. I feel like we're kind of catching on that seal that's in there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's all seated properly. I'm going to do a little bit of grease on the outside of the seal. I didn't do the bottom side. So we'll do a quick little round around the outside of this. To make sure that's not going to stick at all. Make sure it's all seated properly in there and not sticking out. And now we'll try this again. See if we can't get this to slide in there properly this time. Kind of wiggle it on down a little bit if I can. Looks like we're going a little bit, looks like. There it is. Okay, so now we want to try and get the seal here to rest inside of this groove. So I'm going to grab my flathead real quick and kind of start working the bottom side where it's kind of hard to get to. And then we'll go around to the top side. So let me get down a little further here. Then we got my flathead and then we'll try and get the seal inside of there. All right, so I got my flathead here. The goal is to have this piece here all tucked in through that groove there all the way around. So I'm assuming he was able to tilt his back and forth, but this one's really tight. So there's really no tilting that's going to happen. So I'm going to try my best. I guess we'll start on this side. I'm trying to simply push that through there. I don't want to like tear the boot because that's no fun. All right, so I was finally able to get this uh, this seal here started. You can see I've got it going in right there. It's a very slow process. You want to do it very carefully so you don't actually tear this boot. But what I've been doing is kind of just like using the flat side of the flathead here and kind of scooping it and pushing it down and kind of just slowly work my way around until it sticks. So we'll do this entire side. And this over here is be a giant pain, but hopefully it does. It wants to cooperate. And then we're just about done with this first one. After this is done, we'll move on to the carrier, get the slide pins greased and in, and then our first one will be done. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This process, it sucks. And I don't know how to do this, and I guess the right way. I've tried, I don't know. So I got this one almost all the way through, but then the seal always bulges 
at the end and I don't know how to get it to sit flat because like as you push it down I guess it twists a little bit but I can't get it to untwist and I also can't get the piston back up because it's stuck and it won't move anymore so I don't know how to get rid of this giant bulgy section and same on this one but the bulge happened in the back and same thing I can't get it to go in and it's just I don't know the piston won't move I can't budge it and both the videos I watched they did it the same way and they're sit flat but for some reason mine will not and the seals that i got the new ones are the same size as the factory ones all this is the same size so i have no idea i can't pull the seal the piston back out because it's stuck and this i what am I supposed to do with that it won't go down and it's all bunched up and i, I don't know I don't know. This is a super, super annoying process. I have tried my absolute hardest to slide the seal back and forth. Nothing I do gets this out of there. No matter how much I slide inside this way or this way, there's always a pinch spot and I can't fit all of it down. And it always does that. It always pinches in one of the spots and it never can fit. I put the back of the seal in first. I try to work it around like the video show, but my, it, I can't do it. And I put the seal in by itself before the piston and it fits no problem. But for some reason, I cannot make this work. Oh, this is a super annoying process. Honestly, I would rather just buy assembled calipers and have to do this again. Because I do not know why, but I can't make it work. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull this seal off and try to pull the piston back out. I'm going to try and use the OG seals again. They're not torn or anything like that. So I'm going to try and use these ones and see if that works because I am just about done with this well i got one seal out and obviously it tore coming out because it's a piece of crap this one part of it came out the rest is still stuck in there couldn't get it out and i tried my absolute best to get this piston either one of these pistons to come out of there and they are so stuck and i don't understand how they are so stuck in there i use my vice grip i use my hammer and i beat this thing and it just will not but so apparently me wanting to have better brakes is just a giant joke because yeah this is this is stupid i would rather spend money and buy assembled calipers than to ever have to try and rebuild this again because i don't understand why this is so difficult all the videos i watched were so easy and then for some reason i just cannot make these work for whatever reason stupid highly highly stupid so i guess for now my brakes will all just sit here until I figure out how to make this work. I don't know. I don't know what to try. I can't make the piston come out. No matter what I try, the seals would not go in. So yeah, there's that. There's that. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But yeah, I am. I am. I'm done with this. So I guess we'll go ahead and throw the wheels in the car. All right. Well, there she is on the ATS wheels. I actually quite like the black a lot. Looks a lot meaner. I think it'd be much cooler though. If I had some nice big brakes back here, but uh, that is just not the case. I'm going for a quick drive in a minute, make sure everything's like um, balanced properly. And there's no weird uh, shakes or like that, but I do like the look. So I went through real fast and actually painted the hub rings from orange to black now, so everything matches. I like it. I really like how the black wheels look in that car. So we'll go for a drive now and see if everything checks out.
there she is boys and girls a nice little test run for the ats wheels the wheels felt really really good i can tell they are much lighter than the power tech i had plenty of grip i felt confident though, all the corners so i'm very happy with the setup i love the color i love the lightweightness of them very very happy with the setup and then tomorrow we'll try and give these things another shot like i said i just i cannot get this piston out of there and i don't know why it's so stuck so We'll try again tomorrow and hopefully have our nice look how, look how nice these things are i just want to put these on the car man like work with me hope you guys enjoyed today's video do not forget to be thankful for our school day we'll see you guys next time peace